I'm in the middle of the bonus round where you guys are talking about the perspective of a female chef. My perspective was I had to grow a penis to fit in. Luckily, I grew up with three older brothers, so it wasn't such a culture shock being the only female. But there was many kitchens I worked in where I was the only female. One Italian place in particular was hard as I was the first ever female chef they hired. Fuck. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> so many comments were made from older Italian men customers. No shit. If I was ever in the pizza section, they would get, what's she doing there? The first day of my apprenticeship, my head chef told me a kitchen was no place for a girl. My response was, it was all right for your mum though, wasn't it? That's fucking actually great. Mm. I think the hardest part about being a female chef was having to constantly prove myself, not just as a chef, but a female and a male dominated industry. Mm. Probably why so many chicks had chips on their shoulders. If you guys want any more insight, let me know. I was a chef for 14 years, but got out around 2014, so when I was a little old. Towards the end of my time in the kitchens, I noticed a lot more females coming through, and it wasn't so uncommon. Yeah. That's pretty... That's kind of spot on. I mean, like, her experience there is pretty male-dominated, though. That's insane for the first female ever. Yeah, I think that... Isn't it... <laughs> chef, why chef she would belong there. Why would, like, even, you know, European, Italian people... Women oh, run kitchens at home, but they can't be in kitchens professionally. I don't understand. And they cook that. the same food, and they they genuinely say, "This is my nonna's recipe." Yeah. But my nonna can't work here. Yeah, why can't she work? <laughs> yeah. Women have always <laughs> cooked. Why can't they professionally cook in kitchens? I yeah. don't. I've never got it. I never yeah. understood it. I agree. That's kind of a, is it, I mean, that's exactly the insight. And they can be good, like great. I've worked with some amazing female chefs. Yeah, females can do the human. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They like but also in saying that, if I'm being honest, a lot of the female chefs I remember, like the sous chefs and stuff, were fucking hard asses. I think it either went well, I was talking about this the other day to somebody. Uh an owner of a, a female owner of a place and she was talking about her um cooking. And I was like of the opinion that like I just I only remember the apprentices going one way or the other, the female apprentices. They would either go, I can kind of make everyone do shit for me because they're male mm -hmm. or I'm so against that I want to do everything for myself and just become hard and Yeah. Um, but I mean like the same way we would has become hard. No, I can do everything. I'm the same as everyone. I can but I would say that was more pressure to do that. Yeah. But then you were like, you'd go the other way. I never really saw it straight down the middle where you're like, oh. But I would see that as an, an apprentice, like, starting out. Mm. So they didn't really, they either wanted to learn everything, just go hard out, I'm the same as everyone. Or they'd just go, oh, shit, if I just blink my eyes a bit, I can get this done. But they're the ones that didn't really last. Yeah, they a lot of like, them. I don't know what I want to I just want to learn how to cook or. Wasn't there just a lot of hard female sous chefs? Like, I know... Um, yeah, but that's when they got to sous chef. Yeah. So my what I was thinking is, like, how the fuck did this even happen? How does it... That's yeah. where I saw it kind of sorted out. That's my experience anyway. And I, I felt like a lot of them thrived in that sous chef position. Like, uh, the head chefs definitely liked it. I knew some head chefs uh, well. Like, I worked in a couple of good kitchens like the, with that dynamic. And, yeah, they worked really well with a female sous chef and she would run the kitchen and he would go and do all of the office stuff and yeah. they would work on menu design together and then that female sous chef, both times, a very similar type of person, would yell their fucking asses off at us and we would listen and jobs would get done. Yeah, I don't think it's an issue. It's a good dynamic. But it's um, definitely different from... It would definitely be different from our perspective. Yeah. Also, you don't really know what's said when you're not around. Like, if you're okay, mm -hmm. if you're, like, one of the good guys that's not going to get involved in, like, sexism or fucking all that sort of bullshit, mm. you're never, I don't think you're ever going to hear the total story. You're never going to hear the little comments because you're not around. You're the yeah, guy yeah. that doesn't deal with it. So you're never going to, like, when you're, like, if it's your night off. Yeah. Or jerk-offs, like... Yeah, they do do those snide comments. Yeah, in private time, private areas. Yeah, because they're weak as piss. There's yeah. pussies. Yeah. yeah, walk past scenarios, dry store scenarios. Little brush. I've seen brush. I've now I think about. It, I've seen brush past, and I've said stuff <laughs> like, "What the fuck, dude?" Mm. But I know it's been. But 
that is like the fourth time I've seen it. Mm-hmm. Maybe just uh, the first time, <laughs> but it's just like the kitchen. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, because there's a lot. And of also, there's no reaction. If there's no reaction, maybe they got something going. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna step in on people like yeah, but I've definitely said some shit, and you're like, she's fine. Mm. You know, she's standing right there. It's like, like we were yeah. talking about before. It's a very unique situation where you're all having a thing in a very close knit. Very, everyone can hear everyone. Yeah, and so just don't. If you touch her again, dude, look, look, what, the, what the fuck? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want out of this? I've had an argument with this guy, but deliberately. This is all flooding back um, about it in front of this chick, and she was like fine with it. And I was like, just don't do it. What do you think? Do you think she's gonna fuck you because you keep accidentally touching her ass? Yeah. While you're walking from the corner, you don't need to be in. Yeah. And what are you gonna do at fifteen times a service? You don't need to do it. Mm. So I don't know, like that's a shit. But like, yeah. So no, I, no I just touching. Think, Other. Yeah, but if I wasn't around the next time, what the fuck's gonna happen then? Yeah. Yeah. I've um. There's a time and a place too. You don't need to like rope a person. No, no touching at all. <laughs> I, was, I was really only just thinking about sort of like, um, yeah, the horrible comments and stuff. Yeah, but that just just I just remembered that now. I remember sticking up for um. A female chef once like people were just going a little bit too hard at her and i was like hey man can you just like maybe back it up yeah you wouldn't do and that she to me. stepped in and she told me to shut <laughs> up <laughs> perfect and i was like fine like, that's cool yeah and like i didn't have any offense to it or anything i was like yep yeah, okay that's cool we might have talked about this before again but uh the best one i've ever heard was um uh lady coming out of the cool room and the guy goes, um, oh, it, she had like um, radishes or something. It was so bizarre. She had like radishes or anything like that. And, and, and he was like, oh, nice bunch or something, you know, like something like that. Nah. And she was like sick. And then uh, it was just one of those guys. Yeah. And, then, and then he said it again in a different way, like um, plump or something like that. And she goes, F- you know what? Fine. Show me a dick. <laughs> and we were all like, oh. And sh- and he was like, what? And he was like, you heard me. Show me a dick right now. You Get obviously want to do it. Show me your dick. Let's see what we're going with. Oh, fuck you. Let's go. And he was like, I- what do you mean? He's- and she put down this fucking bunch on the bench. Like, not angry. Just like, come on. And she was like, going for it. Like, no, no, just just show, just show <laughs> me it. Let's get it over with. You obviously want to do it. It was Best. such a power dude, dude. And Best he, way. He never said a single thing after that. Best way. Yeah. Emasculating. 100%. Taking the power. Never did shit. And I loved it. I was like, ha, ah, ha, ha, dickhead. Yeah. And he was like, what's wrong? Yeah, obviously, what's wrong with her? It's like, you, bitch. Yeah, you, you fucking, fucking jerk off. Dickhead. And it's also, dude, you should have just got your dick out. Someone asked you to do it, you fucking Pull pussy. your dick out. Yeah, 100%. You can't win that situation because even when he pulls his dick out, she's just going to be like, that's a terrible you, dick. I reckon you could win that situation if you hadn't done all the other, other shit. All right. Like, so if it was just the first time you ever said something to her, but yeah. maybe there was a bit of a spark. <laughs> yeah. That's just flirting. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. just straight flirting like everyone does in the workplace, <laughs> whatever. Um, or wherever you want to, you see someone you're attracted to and maybe you want to say something one time. Yeah. But knowing that he just keeps doing this and she's like, you know what? Fine. Let's go. Yeah. Right here. You want to, you want to do this in front of everyone? Yeah, and that was her point. She says, oh, you want to do this? You want to, you want to like, uh, uh, do me in front of everyone? Let's do you, yeah. The only way that he could, he could pull... That's a great call. There's only one way that he could pull back the power from a scenario like that, and that's to pull his pants down, full erection. Yeah, it's massive dong, yeah. Just doesn't even have to be a big dick. Just, it's just full. Just up. He's just a full erect penis, and then he's yeah. like, here it is. Yeah. And now we've got a standoff. Yeah. Which one of you blokes wants to suck this? Yeah. <laughs> I would say that too. <laughs> Who wants it? Who wants it? <laughs> Who wants it? It's and then go. someone, some random walks in and there's like seven chefs huddled around one guy with an erect penis. I know. And a female chef just saying like, get it out. <laughs> get it out. <laughs> you just turn back around and you'd be like, I'm not getting involved in this. Yeah. I know. But yeah, I like that. I thought that was cool. I thought it was a good way to handle it. But mm. also you've been abused for like however many weeks before yeah. that happens. <laughs> it's not kind of cool. Hopefully there's not a lot of that going on anymore. I mean, just general overall abuse to all of us, Yeah, not based on our gender. That's what we want. 
Yeah. You know? Yeah. Be, be a little bit of a dick to everybody. Yeah. 